Generally, elephants will live as long as we do, approximately 60 to 70 years since their last one. And the last one of an elephant depends on the nature of their teeth. They always have six sets of teeth, and every set will last for approximately 10 years. That's why any time between 60 and 70 or the teeth are worn out, they will die from starvation, which is a natural death if the poachers don't find them. They will attain maturity between 10 and 15 years, the gestation period is approximately two years. We will always live in groups and families under the leadership of the oldest female, who by natural instinct automatically becomes the leader. The boys will leave their families after maturity, which is about 15 years. When they leave the family, they want to go and join a bachelor hut somewhere else. Or some boys want to stay by themselves. Or some boys want to go and look for females in other huts in a different place. But the females will stay together for the rest of their lives. Generally, elephants are very clever, very intelligent animals. They also do have a perfect memory, which means they will remember everything that happens in their lives. That is why the saying that goes, elephants never forget, is very, very true. Any final questions? Now, the milk we feed these elephants is not an elephant's milk, simply because it's not very easy to milk a wild elephant and get the real milk. And at the same time, we cannot feed them on cow's milk, since cow's milk has got lots of fat, and elephants are poor in fat digestion. So you feed them on cow's milk, and they will diarrhea to death. That is why we feed them on a human baby formula, whose parts have been emulsified to make it easier for the babies to digest. Well, we take them to Savo after three years. We've got our best in Savo with our keepers who will lead them in the park to set them free to join other wild elephants. While they interact with the wild elephants, some wild elephants will invite them and so they spend the day together. Others will reject them, others will just ignore them, others will charge them. And every day they come back at our base in the evening. Every morning they go back in the park, always in the company of the keepers. And after a long period, they make a special relationship no, with the wild elephants. We eventually adapt them in the family. And once they get adapted, they don't want to come back with our keepers at our base. They want to stay with their new world friends. When we see that happen, we let them go. We don't force them to come back. We just let them free. They decide by themselves when they're ready to go, whom to accompany them, which world hard to join. So if there are no more questions, the elephants are left with approximately two minutes or so to walk away. That's the end of our show. Thank you very much for listening to me.